New at five, hundreds of people in Highlands Ranch are on edge about an Xcel Energy gas project they say will be very close to homes and a school. Denver 7's Mark Boyle is live. And Mark, how far are we talking about here? Just about a stone's throw. I'm going to put this uh, stake about where this is going to go. It'll be built right here. And you can see about 100 feet away the buildings for the school. Then, not much further, homes here in the area. Those living here now concerned that a health hazard is being built in their backyard. These small yellow flags mark future construction in one of the most unlikely of spots. This is their sledding hill. <laughs> this is where they sled all the time, and um, it's where they ride the trail behind the school, and it's right next to the playground. Andrea Gordon lives in Indigo Hills and just a few hundred feet from the proposed XL Energy gas regulator project. It's not just us, it's going to concern other people down the line. And this Parker gas regulator is similar to what they'll be building. Xcel Energy says the expansion in southern Douglas County is causing them to need more of these to keep gas running to new future customers. Ultimately, in 15 to 20 years, it's going to be between 35 and 45,000 people based on the number of different projects which are on the books right now. So we have to be able to serve. Excel says they explored two other routes first in more industrial areas, but both were denied. Now saying they're trying to keep the impact on the neighborhood down, stressing that this won't vent gas unless a rare emergency situation comes up. This is going to be designed to a 50 dBA, which is less than people you can hear from an outdoor conversation. We've got a heck of a lot more sound from the road right behind us right now. Now, we talked to the Douglas County Schools today as to their thoughts with this development being so close to the school. They say they are keeping an eye on this, but want to make sure that there aren't any students' uh, health that's going to be jeopardized in this one. Now, the homeowners in this area will have a meeting with Excel to talk about what can be done, if anything, with this project on Thursday. We'll continue to follow that for you. We're live in Highlands Ranch, Mark Boyle, Denver 7.